This is Avery Tanzer from Awards Watch, and I'm thrilled to be speaking with Lisa Cole about her film Bienvenidos a Los Angeles. How are you, Lisa? I'm um, so great. Thank you for having me. Of course. I understand that this film is based on a true story. When did you first encounter that? Yes, it's inspired by um, the true story of the time my former babysitter attempted to reunite with her young son coming back to California from Mexico, and he got detained by immigration at LAX airport. So it's about what happened that night at the airport, and we filmed at LAX. Um, yeah. And we made the film to put a face of humanity on a, the complicated issue. It's a very complex issue of immigration, right, worldwide. And uh, it's something that's not going away anytime soon in terms of issues. We are so honored to be here on this list, too. It's just incredible. Oh, <laughs> really absolutely. incredible to watch the film catch fire. I have a few questions based on even just what you said. Was there um, any hesitancy from the people, you know, from the real life people about having the story told in this way? Actually, no. Um, Elizabeth and I have known each other for quite a few years, and I'm so grateful to her for being willing to share her story and to trust us and our filmmaking team in telling the story. Um, she really wants to share the story because she believes, um, and she can tell you that herself if you'd like to talk to her, but she would uh, believes that there are so many women in the same boat as her in terms of child separation and family separation. There's just so many people worldwide that can relate. Um, and now with all the wars in the last year and climate change, I mean, there's just so many, um, almost, I think it's over 300 million worldwide immig immig uh, migrants. Um, and those are people that are displaced even in, within their own country, right? And in terms of war. And so, um, yeah, this issue is such a large global issue. And um, we really, I think the film catching fire like this and being acknowledged by the Academy is such an honor. And I think it's just illustrates um, how far behind immigration policy is in the United States. And so, um, yeah, we're just honored to be able to use art as a way. I mean, I believe in the power of art to kind of bring people together to try to move the needle on, on an issue like this. So. What kind of logistical challenges did you face uh, filming at LAX? I'm sure that wasn't an easy thing. <laughs> Everyone told us not to even try to get permission. And it took, because some people are like, did you, how did you do that? You know, of course we got permission, but it took, it took me five months of finessing. I'll be honest. Um, uh, and we were the first film to film there since COVID. So it was, but it was also in December and it was right in the middle of COVID construction and Christmas time, which we just couldn't believe that it happened. It was like, pinch me, are we really filming here right now in this live environment? But the people at LAX, the staff were wonderful. Um, we are now friends with the superintendent and also the John Bogle, who is the Southwest manager terminal guy. Um, he's the manager of that terminal. We filmed there in their beautiful new terminal one. And he brought us bottles of champagne at the end of our second night. It was just really, it was a very special experience to film there and such an iconic place for such an iconic Los Angeles story um, that it just had to be LAX. I just couldn't, I saw everything else in a two hour radius and it just, I just, I couldn't take no for an answer. It just had to happen and, and it did. <laughs> you also have these very strong, four very strong female roles. Was it difficult to find the right people to play each one of them? I wouldn't say difficult. Um, I mean, I had a specific vision in mind for the characters. And obviously, Elizabeth's based on a real person. And so that was very important to try to get um, the spirit of that character correct. Um, and thankfully, Elizabeth's very happy with the film and very supportive of it. Um, but I had a wonderful casting director, Carolyn Leem, and she um, it was during COVID, too. So we were just gathering a bunch of tape and and she would watch people and then kind of pick out some of her top favorites and then I would watch and we did that we went back and back and forth thankfully with zoom and with new you know all the capabilities that came about since COVID and it was a blessing in a way and then we did we had a window of time where we could hold in-person interviews then and um uh that was really helpful as well in making the final decisions there were so many wonderful women to choose from we were lucky and have you received any surprising reactions from people who have seen the film you know, some of the most rewarding reactions are when I'm able to see the film screen in person. This last year and a half or so, we've had a really robust festival campaign where we've 
been over 50 film festivals worldwide. And of course, I haven't been to all of them, but I've tried to go to certain ones and I'm really glad I did. And that's the most rewarding part is standing in the audience and having there's a Q&A afterward and having people stay and ask such meaningful questions. Of course, everyone wants to know what, um, you know, how Elizabeth and Christopher are doing today, the two people that are, um, the story is based on their real life. And thankfully they're doing beautifully well. And I actually got to see them um, this time last year, they came and stayed with us for a week between Christmas and New Year's. And that was so wonderful to be reunited again, because our two families are still very close. But the reaction in the audience has been, you know, I've had lots of grown men come up and just cry and thank us for making the film and ask if they can give me a hug. And, you know, I feel like I feel really good that I did justice to Elizabeth's story because she's happy, but that also to know that it's resonating with viewers and with people in a way that's really special and authentic, because that was always the goal to tell the most authentic story as possible. And we worked really hard to make sure that happened. And to have people thank us for making the film is, and to have the Academy recognize it is just a testament to the fact that um, there's powerful, there's ways to tell these stories and that are meaningful and, and powerful for people and that they resonate. And I, I feel like as a director, I've done my job to, if I can elicit emotion in the viewers in an authentic way. Well, thank you for making this film and I wish you good luck at the Oscars. Thank you so much for including us. And um, yes, we'll see what happens. We're just so excited to have come this far. So thank you so much.